Sync. Sync. Hey everyone, this is Squigs, back with another episode of Squiggy7. Uh, you know you've been dying for your second installment. So, um, quick, uh, quick recap. Oh wait, hold on. I got a theme song for you, that's my gimmick. that up on the spot that's a little gift to you for watching episode two thank you friends hey who else is playing their theme music live and not fucking scripting it it's like uh, i'm a youtube legend already they just don't know yet all right so that's enough of that so we're gonna pick another game here do a little seven minute first impression review so i can kind of learn what some of these obscure games are and uh, today we'll go here, boom, Pirates. I've actually never heard of that one, just Pirates with an exclamation point. It should be good. That's actually, I don't think I know any pirate games on the NES. Let's check this out. All right. Here we go. Pirates. Copyright Ultra Games. All right. Let me get my volume up a little bit. I get a little bit of a screen issue. It's a nice little intro, but I don't... I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully that goes away. Well, good pirates, return to us in the golden age of buccaneering on the Spanish Main. Do you wish to start a new career, continue a save game, look at the Hall of Fame. We're going to start a new game. Do you wish to select a specific historical period? Of course. The Silver Empire, merchants and smugglers, the new co colonists, war for profit, the buccaneers' heroes. Dude, this is awesome already. Pirate Sunset. 16 Let's go to the... F Let's go to. Let's just. Uh, I don't know. They're they're so good. Let's go to War for Profit. That sounds like the most we want an exciting, exciting video, right? Are you an English adventurer, French, Dutch, or Span Dutch? Oh, it, English adventurer, French privateer, Dutch trader, Spanish renegade. Well, that sounds badass. What is your family name? Uh, well, we are the Squigs. Beautiful. Seems oh, squigs minus minus, <laughs> Mr. Squigs. Which difficulty level do you choose? I mean, we're not little bitches, so we're gonna oh, let's go on adventure. Oh fuck, this is gonna be a super complicated game. <laughs> Skill at fencing, navigation, gunnery, wit and charm. Skill at medicine. This is probably the most <laughs> useless, but actually, let's take. Stick the gunnery so we can see something like I said. I really want the wit and charm, to be honest, but we're going to go for the gunnery. Years ago, your family settled in the New World, then a rich, grasping grasping noblewoman used a corrupt judge to seize the family lands and imprison you. What a bitch. You escape and begin a long search for your lost family. Well, that sucks. Oh, here we go. Finally, you encounter sailors in the portside tavern, down to their last few gold balloons. Mate, they call, help us refill our purses. Smugglers elect you captain. That night, you lead the sturdy band into a sneak attack on a small ship riding an anchor. Oh, this... <laughs> it's not what I, was, what I was expecting. Am I that guy on the left? I can't say that I saw this coming. I thought I would be... Wow. If I could ex just explain to you how weird these controls are. I, I'm i the guy on the left, I'm almost positive, yeah. I mean, I mean, not the left. I'm an idiot. I'm white shirt on the right. And I'm just fucking flailing. How is this a game? That's one of the things, like, people always charge so much more for the games with the manuals, but if you don't have the manual for this, you better fucking Google it. I, I, got, this, I got this eye poke down. Oh, there we go. Good. So by holding A, I can kind of go up and down with these two different poking maneuvers. A and down right, le or A and down left for that one. A and up left for that one. Oh, yeah, vast. Oh. And then that was like a backhand. You and your sturdy band sail to a friendly port. There you arm and provision the ship. Your charismatic personality brings flocks of recruits from taverns, each seeking new wealth on the Spanish Main. Can you imagine if I had wit and charm, how many fucking crew members I would have just got? Sailing Master takes you aside. Here in PTO Bello, uh, you'll probably be wanting to see the Spanish governor and visit a tavern or two. 
The men will be anxious for plunder and adventure, so we needn't be sightseeing for too long. The closest English city is Barbados, which lies many days sailing to the east. The closest French city is Petit Goave. I'm probably murdering that, which lies in many days sailing to the north. The closest Dutch city is Caraco, Caracayo, which lies in the many days sailing to the northeast. This is going to be like a text adventure. Is bustling, P PTO Bello is bustling with activity. Do you visit the governor, visit a tavern, trade with a merchant, divide up the plunder, check information, leave town. Let's visit the governor. My dear Mr. Squiggs, we are at war with the French. Over a delicate dinner, the governor offers you a Spanish letter of marquee for 800 pieces of gold. Will you pay? What the fuck is that? Sure. <laughs> okay, thank you for that letter of marquee with no further explanation. I'm sure I'll know exactly what to do with it. Tavern keeper listens with interest as you describe your promising plans. Look, it's that promising sea dog, Mr. Squiggs. A ready group of four men asked to join your crew. Sign them up. Come on in. Tavern new. Gold mine at St. Kitts. Prince War with Spain. Malaria hits, malaria hits, malaria hits, Indians, and oh, so it's like updates on the world. Little tavern gossip. See, what is up with that fucking map? Like, this is this ROM all messed up? This is probably like a PAL ROM or something. Did I fuck up and play a PAL? I mean, there's just one little part fucked up, so we're just gonna keep going with it and pretend I didn't notice that. Trade with the merchant. We don't actually have the pirates. Then fuck it, why'd you give me the option? Apparently I'm gonna be a pirate, like always. Do I have to be a pirate in disguise as a decent dude? Are you sure you want to divide the plunder? Actually, no, I'm not sure. Check information. God damn, let's go to sea. Let's go to fucking sea. Leave town. Roll call reveals that four crew members have deserted this. It's supposed to be the four dudes from the tavern. They really loved it. Yeah, I should have divided my plunder with them, I suppose. Oh. What? Oh. I've gone a, I've gone a fucking shore already. This is kind of more what I was picturing originally, but... Not quite what anyone was picturing, probably. Sail ho. The lookout reports a sail on the horizon. Let's investigate that. Oh, shit. Looks like a pinnace, Captain. Pinnace, I think that's what it is. Investigate. She's flying Spanish colors, Captain. Shall we close her? Oh, we're Spanish, aren't we? We're a Spanish renegade? Oh, we're a renegade, though, so we probably don't give a shit. Oh, let's hail for news, actually. We're Spanish. Let's see if they like... Oh. Oh, let's see. Now I know all a bunch of shit I don't care about. God damn it. I should have done something more exciting. Oh, the wind's like blowing me away. This is kind of cool, actually. You steer left and right to kind of turn it with tank controls, but the wind can catch you and blow you out to sea. Like, right now I'm not controlling that. I just keep getting... Well, I said it was kind of cool, but I'm already finding it frustrating. But, um... Let's see. Maybe we should go ashore again. Be a little... Oh, well, we just got turned in. What is this? See, like, both my A and B do nothing. Start, pauses, select gives me a whole bunch of shit. I think it's actually best for us to be in the boat until we can find something of note. Nice little pirate song for you. We can shanty that up later. Um, look at this. Edge of the world. Probably some good shit down here. Wow, it's fucking hard. I'm sure you can hear the wind picking up. Like, it's quite the storm. <laughs> it's really hard to control a straight line in this tight little path. It's like, no. Nothing. June, 1640. Sail ho. Let's investigate. She looks like a merchantman, Captain. We will investigate. Arg, it's that promising pirate, Baron Sebastian. He's chasing us, Captain. Dude, close for battle. Fuck. Sebastian? Baron Sebastian's not taking... Oh, no. Wow, this is cool. Alright, I'm that little left. I'm that top ship. I mean... <laughs> I think my directions correct if I'm gonna start fucking explaining stuff. I said, like, neither were left. Whoa, I'm Oh, shit! Fuck you, Baron. Sebastian, you think I'm gonna fuck with someone? Let's go. Oh. Oh, come on. Am I out of bullets? Oh, there they go. This is pretty fucking hard. Oh, it like scrolls and shit. What's this?
I mean, I don't know. This is pretty, pretty fucking hard. Especially with fucking Sebastian just chasing and running. I'm gonna close in on this fucker and just... Oh, he got me pretty good. I'm hoping to do the same to him, though. Oh, no, he's better than me. I'm going down, I think. No, not yet. Oof. See, I don't know. I was kind of having fun on the overworld, but this mini game is really fucking hard. Your ship is holed in a dozen places and gradually sinks beneath the waves. Oh, Captain Sphinx. With your last ship gone, you're washed ashore on an uncharted island. The local Indians feed you and help you to regain your strength. Many months pass. Oh, look at We got like a little fucking, uh, what do they call those? Like a montage scene. We're working out and regaining. Oh, wow. Yeah, you really failed the time. That was a nice choice by the, the game directors. Month passed quickly. No, nope, they passed. Actually, I just said that you really felt the time. As you search for a way out of your predicament. Fortunately, you are still young and healthy. Nice. One day, oh, that's weird. One day, a small ship arrives at the island to resupply. You recognize some of your former crew members. They agree to take you back as a journeyman captain. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> You're that guy that couldn't fire any cannons and lost against fucking Baron Sebastian the first time you met him. We need you back in charge. <laughs> oh. And we're taking off from this shitty river that you parked and died in. And I really didn't move. Yeah, I just chilled with those locals for many years. Wow. Oh. Okay, what do we... Let's, yeah, we'll look at this ale. It's a pinnacle. Let's investigate. Spanish colors. This time... We're closing for battle. Fuck them. We don't need to know who has Valeria where. Oh, god damn it. I don't know why I expected it to be any different, but there's no way I'm going to have success on this. So it's the same tank controls, except this asshole's running away constantly. There's like nothing. There's just a pause button otherwise. How the fuck am I supposed to like catch him? And do anything. Please walk into my boat. Like, what was that? Anyways, they went some of the way and they just dropped off into the water. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be able to hit this dude anymore. This is gonna be just me slowly chasing... Whoever the fuck this dude is. I can't do anything. Like, he's just running. I can't go any faster than him. I'm at full sails. I would... No, I don't know which one of us is which, but... One of us is at battle sails, whatever the fuck that means. Oh, that's me at the side. What does battle sails mean? There's only two... It's an NES controller. It has raising cells? Like, I'm not doing any of that. Now we're at full sails. Like, all right. So this is a game where you slowly follow a pirate ship forever until you get bored and shut it off. It looks like it's probably it's probably pretty fun, but I don't I really don't know how to even end this. I mean, I can just go for random. After a long chase, the sun sets, and you're right, that was a long chase. And then the sun's down, and everyone's like, "Oh, forget about that now. <laughs> we're friends." Everyone's gonna go to bed. Alright, let's go to this fucking port and check it out. Ah, oh, we're already over seven minutes. See, Squiggy 7, it's not very good. Not a good length of time. See, we're gonna continue the fucking voyage, because we want to land. We want to port at this fucking town. Alright, so you've arrived at the lovely seaside town of Cartagena. Four, gar four guards. Four forts guard the entrance. The Spanish flag flies over the town. We will... Just sail right into the harbor. Cartagena also has broken graphics. Cartagena. I'm so fucking bad. I should just try to read it once in my head and then start reading, but I'll just jump right into it and then fucking get it wrong. Alright, so Cartagena is bustling with activity. Do you do all the same stuff in the other town? My dear Mr. Scribe, you're allies of the French. I charge you to seek out and destroy our, our enemies' ships and towns. Wow, I just met you, man. Like... Damn. 
Um, 34 men wants to join. Well, yeah, come on aboard. A traveler from Panama offers to sell you information. Yeah, what do you got, man? You got glitched out information. That's lovely. Well, it's kind of a shame, because this is not a very good review if you can't tell what that is, but... I mean, I'm in the same boat, dude. We both are suffering here, so... Ooh, what is this? Scruffy Pirate offers to sell you part of an old treasure map. Yeah, no, no, that's because I buy everything I see. Um, let's divide up the remaining plunder, then. Keep those 34 guys happy. Cruise Swagger's off to squander hard-won gold and join himself in the local town. Advanced to adventurer level. The ship is careened and refitted. Provisions are collected and stowed. Use your expedition spreads among the island. Small groups of party men return to join your band. What the fuck did I just do? Roll call reveals that five crew members have deserted. Oh. Look at us, we're adventurers. Um... Ah, yeah, well, I guess that's, uh, that's probably all I'm gonna, if, if I have to fucking, like, I would like to fence him again, because that was kind of cool. At least I got the hang of that. If I have to fucking sail and fucking fight someone in the water, yeah, if I don't kill this dude instantly, this video is fucking over. <laughs> I would rather die than chase that dude until the sun sets. What kind of, who wants that? Yeah. See, like, you can't shoot again right away. You just kind of sail around on this bland water with sparkly little waves. Yep. Yeah. This is looking like a lot of the same, so I'm going to use this as a nice... So you can wrap up the video. I can wrap this video with it while playing, because all I have to do is point my fucking guy at that guy, and then we'll just sail forever until the fucking sun sets. All right, so this has been Squeaky 7 again. Clock it in at 17 minutes. Hey, it's 17. That's pretty good. But doesn't seem... I had this idea in between the last two videos, within the last six or seven minutes. We do. We call it Squeaky 7 First Impressions. It's got kind of like a rolling rolling thing to it. It's really long and... Yeah. See, I probably could have had the chance to shoot him here. But um, I've already given up on this game. I really don't like it. To be honest, I should probably rank it or something if I'm going to review. So, First Impression... Three being an average game, I would just like to own and play. <coughs> um, I'd probably give it like a two, maybe maybe two point five. Like um, again, I'd probably play it if I had it in my collection, just because I had it. But I wouldn't seek it out. Although there might be a lot more to it than I'm giving credit. It looks like one of those deep games, you know. You do a lot of stuff, it grows. Probably not the best games for these type of videos, but first impression that boat fighting was just too annoying. Too annoying. There was not really any good music. It wasn't really... The graphics were average. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to stick with that 2 to 2.5. Fucking vague rating of nothing. Alright. So. I'm going to go and do another one of these. Because this is actually kind of fun. I like this whole YouTube video thing. It only takes like... It took me 18 minutes. This fucking video just keeps getting longer and longer. But... And then it's just done. It's created. That's kind of neat. I can do all these fucking NES games eventually. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, so, again, rambling is my thing, I guess, at the end of these videos. Maybe some trademark, a little squiggy trademark. Um, but until next time, which will be probably five minutes from now, after I go get a drink of water, this has been uh, Squiggy7, First Impressions, and take it easy, guys.